If I asked you what you thought the most famous dinosaur in the world was, what would you say? One of your first thoughts was probably of the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. But have you ever asked yourself, why is this dinosaur so famous? T-Rex continues to be a pop culture icon and movie star, appearing in our favourite films and being a famous figure both in the scientific realm and out in the wider world. Yet, with this fame has come the spread of misinformation about its evolution, biology and history. So while beloved movies such as Jurassic Park may have helped to elevate T-Rex to its current superstar status, they were also a platform for misinformation. Here we aim to explore this misinterpretation of T-Rex and figure out what Jurassic Park got wrong. To start with, the name of Tyrannosaurus rex is a big contributor to its popularity. T-Rex is one of the first dinosaur names that kids will learn, mainly because, as dinosaur names go, it is the easiest one to say. It's much easier to say T-Rex than something like Micropachycephalosaurus. Tyrannosaurus rex translates to Tyrant Lizard King. And when they first found it, T-Rex was the largest carnivore known at the time. But was he actually the largest carnivorous dinosaur? While in the Jurassic Park movies, T-Rex is one of the largest dinosaurs, depicted easily matching the Spinosaurus in size, this was not the case in reality. T-Rex was not even in the top five biggest carnivores. He comes in at around number eight, with Spinosaurus in the lead at 17 meters long. Now while these other carnivores are technically longer, weight estimations put T-Rex as one of the heaviest carnivores ever. T-Rex also wins the competition for the largest teeth of any dinosaur, with some being over 15 centimeters in length, which is the average size of a banana. Another thing that adds to T-Rex's fame is his tiny little arms. Even though the arms are of a similar length to ours, they could lift several hundred kilograms each. But what were the arms for? They probably couldn't break a fall with their arms if they tripped over, and the arms were too short for grasping prey, their head would get in the way, and teeth were the main ripping and grasping tools anyway. Paleontologists still don't really have an answer for this. Unfortunately, the behaviours of dinosaurs and other fossil species are not often preserved, so while paleontologists have a lot of ideas, we actually have no true idea of what the tiny arms were actually used for. As I mentioned, it was the Jurassic Park films and books that helped to elevate T-Rex to its status today. And while these movies were groundbreaking for their introduction of active, mobile dinosaurs that was a far cry from what people used to think dinosaurs were like, there continue to be a few inaccuracies in the franchise. Let's take a look. Welcome to Jurassic Park. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex to 32 miles an hour. Originally, it was thought that the T-Rex was a speedy hunter, getting up to speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. But new studies on the hip flexibility of T-Rex show that they couldn't actually extend their legs that much to get that speed. Instead, they could probably only run at about 30 kilometers an hour. Now to put that into context, Usain Bolt's average speed when sprinting is 37 kilometers an hour. Do you think you could outrun a T-Rex? You keep still because you think that maybe his visual acuity is based on movement like T-Rex and he'll lose you if you don't move. This is completely incorrect. T-Rex probably had good binocular vision like modern birds. The forward-facing eyes hint at good depth perception that would be required for hunting. Imagine how often T-Rex would crash into trees if he couldn't see non-moving objects. How do you know they're all female when somebody got in the park and pulled up the dinosaur's skirts? Unfortunately, in paleontology, we don't often have soft tissue preserved to see what sex a dinosaur is. So unless there are eggs preserved within the body of the mother dinosaur, we often have no idea which dinosaurs are males or females. 
Recently, it's been found that some dinosaurs that are pregnant or have laid eggs before have specialised bone cells, indicating that they are females. However, not many samples have been analysed for this, as the process is destructive to the dino bones. Another thing that Jurassic Park plays off is the colour of the T-Rex, and really all the dinosaurs. In the movies, the T-Rexes are often a brown or green colour, but in reality, we don't know T-Rex's colour. Paleontologists can find colour pigment cells in fossilised feathers and mummified dino skin, but unfortunately we don't have these fossils for T-Rex. Brown and green were probably good for blending into forest or savanna environments, but think of our top predators that live in similar environments today. Tiger stripes and cheetah spots. But as a top predator, was blending into the environment important? Think of the descendants of T-Rex, our modern birds, and all of the amazing colours they have. Soft tissues don't tend to fossilise though, so things like feathers, skin, spines, even fat don't preserve. T-Rex may have been as colourful as a peacock. Paleontologists still have a lot to learn about the famous Tyrannosaurus rex, but we hope that you will join us on that journey of discovery. As you can see, Jurassic Park may not have gotten everything right, so from here we hope that you will learn to investigate to question the portrayals of accurate science you see in the media. T-Rex may only be the beginning.